This is SAT test one, non-calculator question number 20. College Board gives us the uh, equation a equals 5 root 2 and asks us in 2a equals root 2x, what is the value of x? I'm going to take a equals 5 root 2 and multiply both sides by 2 to get 2a equals 10 root 2. That wasn't necessary, but it is easier to think about with 2a equals root 2x, the equation that, that includes x. If I substitute this expression in for 2a on the left, I get 10 root 2 equals root 2x. Now let's square both sides of that equation, and I get 10 squared root 2 squared equals, the square root squared is 2x. 10 squared is 100, root 2 squared is 2, so 100 times 2 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2. 2 over 2 is 1. I get 100 equals x. And the answer we're looking for is 100. If I wanted to check that, I probably wouldn't take time to check on problem 20. Either I'm comfortable with this or I'm more worried about other answers. But if I did want to check that, I would say 2a equals root 2x is root 2 times 100. So 2a equals root 2, root 100. 2a equals root 100 is 10, so that's 10 root 2. If I divide both sides by 2, I get a by itself. 10 over 2 is 5, so a equals 5 root 2, which is the expression they gave us to start. And that would confirm that I do have the correct answer. College Board will typically ask you a question involving radicals or rational exponents or both. So make sure we're ready for these questions and come back soon for my next math video. With math there's always more.